Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. Back on June 30th of 2022, the police were called to the Steak and Shake restaurant. The concern was that there was a vehicle sitting in the parking lot with its hatch open and its hood open and a Karen sitting in the driver's seat acting weird. And what you're looking at now is a brief preview of what the officers saw when they arrived. But in addition to Karen's completely goofy behavior, the police also noticed that her car was smoking. So of course, to avoid a vehicle fire, the officer asked Karen to turn her vehicle off, and then we get into the nonsense. Oh, uh, your car is smoking. No, no, turn it off and turn the smoke again. Yeah, turn, turn, the smoking, turn the car off. Turn the car off. Turn the car off. I did. It's been off, though. Can you get up out of the car, please? Yeah. So at this point, the officers are starting to notice that Karen is acting really strange and that she's under the influence of something really strong. But then when the officers asked Karen what happened to her car, she said the air conditioning was running at its highest setting and the car overheated. And in addition, she wasn't driving, her boyfriend was. However, make a note of the fact that when the police arrived, Karen was in the driver's seat and the car was running. So what happened? Where did you guys come from? Yeah. You drove over here? Yeah, we yeah. live in Shorewood. Okay. And it's fine. We bought it literally a week ago. Well, did you guys hit anything? No. It just started smoking randomly? Yeah, we had the max. Do you, you take your sunglasses off? Yeah, we had the max AC on. Okay. So I don't know if that's why. He said it was the temperature. Who was driving? Us. Well, yeah, well, you were in the driver's seat when I got here, right? No, yeah, yeah but I was he, getting the stuff back in the trunk. The trunk yeah. Yeah. So at this point, the officers are really starting to notice that Karen is not able to stand still and is acting like someone who is on some heavy drugs. Well, because you're acting like you're under the influence. Oh. When I got here, the car's running, you're in the driver's seat, right? Right. Your pupils are extremely constricted and you're acting very erratically. I don't are you, what, what drug are you under the influence of? Nothing. And the way you're acting is like you're under the influence of some sort of narcotic. No. I'm not. You're not? No. Okay. So at this point, there is absolutely no doubt in the officers' minds that Karen is under the influence of something which is clear to all of us. However, she denies it, so the officer decides to administer a field sobriety test because after all, Karen was in the driver's seat when the officers showed up. Are you okay with doing some tests to make sure you're good to drive? Absolutely. When I got here, you were in the driver's seat. Absolutely, but I won't be able to drive. Why well, can't you? I mean, I can run if I need to, but... All right, well, when I got here, I mean, you're in the driver's seat, car's running, you know? So, so in one last ditch attempt to save everybody's time, the officer gave Karen one final chance to come clean by asking her if she had consumed any alcohol or narcotics at any point in the day, and she still lied. So on to the field sobriety test to confirm what everybody knows, especially Karen. Do you take anything at all today? No. Do you drink anything? No. Yeah, Nothing at all. That's in the car. No, no alcohol. No. And no narcotics at all. No. His mom just got admitted in the hospital. His dad died a month ago. Like, I came here to get a journal from Barnes and Noble, and then my cash app card didn't work. Okay. Your pupils are extremely small. Okay. There has to be a reason for that. So, do you want to just be honest about what you're taking? I'm not taking anything. What I don't know if it's not. I was wearing sunglasses. No. That's Possibly. Do you see how you're acting right now? It's not normal. Why not? Because I'm standing like this? No, just the way you're like consistently moving and acting. I, I was just going to ask you if I did okay. I never took a test like that before. No, it looks to me like you're tweaking. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the way you're acting. At this point, the officer has conducted the field sobriety tests and he already knows what we all know, 
Karen is on something. So seeing that Karen is only under the influence of Kool-Aid, according to her, the officer asks if he can search her vehicle, and of course, Karen says no. So there's nothing legal in the car? No. Okay. Are you okay with me searching? No, go ahead. Okay. If there's a reason to search it, I don't know, but I feel like there's no reason to search the car. No, I'm just asking if we can. If there they would, took, they, to confirm or dispel our suspicion of what's going on here. If there would be a reason to search the car, then I would say yes. Well, you, you just said yes, so why not? Well, is it yes or no? No. It's, it's no. No, because there's no reason to. Whose car is it? It's his man. So because Karen continues to lie and continues to waste everyone's time, the officers have to continue with the field sobriety test. And at this time, Karen is going to complete, or at least try to complete, what is known as the walk and turn test. Let's see how she does. While you're walking, keep your arms on your side, watch your feet at all times, and count your steps out loud. Once you start the test, don't stop until you complete the test. Next test is called the one-leg stand test, all right? Go ahead. Stand your arms on right, your side. Begin. This might be better with my sandals off. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, you want to take your sandals off and do it? Yeah. Go ahead and take them off. Thank you. Do you, do you remember all the instructions? Yes. Okay. You can begin. 1,001, Okay. Even after witnessing the debacle that we just saw with Karen bombing those tests, she still claimed that she hadn't consumed any alcohol or any narcotics, but her boyfriend came clean, yet she still denied it until the very end. You want to be honest now what you took? Because he's already said, he's already told me that you, he's already told the other. So why, why aren't you being honest? I am the honest. Okay, so you didn't take any sort of... Yeah. When's the last time you used... Probably when I was in a car accident. When was that? June 20th. July. Okay. Oh, right. July 30th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 July this year? Yes. It's not even July yet. No. Oh. July last year. July last it's year. almost been a year. Yeah. Last time you used oh. it. Yeah. You want to put your sandals back on? Yes, please. You don't take any anymore? Oh, no. You don't feel impaired at all? No. I'm just not hand eye so you're, under arrest, you're under arrest for DUI. Looking at the entirety of the situation, the officer decided to arrest Karen for driving under the influence. And remember, although she wasn't observed driving the car, she was in the driver's seat with the car running, which means she was in control of the vehicle, which constitutes a DUI if you're under the influence. Now that Karen's been arrested, they can search the vehicle and look at what they found. Ultimately, Karen was charged with aggravated DUI and her bail was set at $5,000. If you want to lay down, you can lay down. Okay, but I, but I can't with ADHD. You can't sit down with ADHD? No. Back on June 17, 2021, the police were called because there was a hit and run crash. So when the police showed up, the victim of the hit and run was actually able to describe the person who hit his vehicle and he was able to lead the police to their house. Check out what happens next. I went forward, but there's some lady walking. I was like, so I just took the hit. Were you on the hospital or on the No, I was like, I was going back into town from Morrison's. Okay. And 
I just saw them like, and they hit me with that truck. And then they just, yeah, they took off. I went to go talk to them and see if they're okay. Yeah. But by that time, they started backing up and they just took off and I didn't have a chance to find my glasses. And I was, I was chasing them, trying to look. When you were looking at the who was driver? It's a skinny, it's a skinny female. Yes, yes, in the front of it. Thank you. A female to this? Yes. Okay. Tall, very slender. Hi. Hi. Um, the lady that just came home? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Where's she at? Uh, she's asleep right now. Oh, wake her up. Bruiser! Let me go get him real quick. As soon as the officers made their first contact with Hit and Run Karen, they knew that this was a case of DUI. Sit up for a second. I am. Um, come on. Yeah, you're up. Sit up for a second. No. All right. No. Come on, Come on, you need to sit up. Stand up for a second. Just sit up for us, okay? I'm just sitting here. I don't care. Let's go. We can go to your room now. So what happened? I didn't call you guys. How much have you had to drink? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, no. Yeah, I think, what, a 12-pack? No. Yeah. I know, but I'm um, chilling. Officers, may I ask why she mean to change? She was involved in a crash and she came in here. No, and didn't I stop. didn't. Well, I'm not. Crash. I didn't have a crash. I haven't left. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Stand up for a second. So initially, Karen didn't understand that the police officers were there for her. Now she's starting to realize what's going on and she's starting to become resistant. You can cooperate or you cannot cooperate. Whatever you want to do, ma'am, it's up to you. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Well, what the f is she involved okay. in? A crash, anyway. All right, so crash that occurred you stand up, when... Come on, man. Stand up, man. Stand up. Yeah, I need you to stand up. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Put your hands back. No. Yep. No. Put your hands back. What's this, man? Get it, get it, get it. Hurry up. Put the hands back. You don't. Irma. I didn't do anything. Oh, what the f? Shut up. Whose kid is it? I need to know why you're barging in my house. Well, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't Oh, crash. What's your name? So, I didn't. What's your name? Jacqueline. Jacqueline, what? You were involved in a crash. I don't have left. to. I that. I, Did you not notice it or what no, happened? No, I'm a lawyer. I, didn't. I, didn't. I don't I have to I give you a I'm sorry, I but you're a sexy officer. But um, I don't have to give you any did, information. Yeah, and any information that you try to take from me, I can. Okay. To my lawyer. So I want to know who she wrecked into. No. Nope. Uh, you're it. not gonna. You want to go to jail for obstructing the police investigation? Then you're gonna stay right there. So you guys can walk into my house and do. Uh, I'm not. Call I'm David. Not doing anything. David, call him. Is this your mom? Right yes. Oh, okay. And the lady who needs to fix her top is about to become aggressive with the police officers but luckily her daughter grabs her and saves her from obstruction come on let's, let's come let's come to my truck for a moment come on can you take your mom inside for a moment okay ma'am can you please go inside you'll be in the tent this, this time um, the rest, sir, mom, this is my house mom we'll, ta we'll talk we'll talk to you in a second you hang out in there can you not arrest me well right now you're you're detained okay mm -hmm. They're not under arrest, you're just detained. Please, I'll, I will tell you whatever I have to tell you. No. Just sit down. Just sit down. Just sit down. No. Yep. Okay, just stand there so we can talk to you. Just stand, stand right there, alright? Alright, I'm moving to your right, okay? Just because you're being detained and you're not free to go, alright? You're the right to... I know. You're the right to attorney. If you can't provide one, we'll provide one. I know, but call, you okay? said that you I could tell okay. you. I know, and if you wish to talk to me, you can start talking to me at any time, okay? That's what... That's, that's all I'm telling you. I'm advising you of your Miranda rights, okay? That's it. Can right? I just go to bed? Go to bed? Well, you were involved See? in a crash. What happened? I, I didn't. So what happened? I didn't. My my truck is right there. Yeah. And you know, you know how to I, take wreck in the front? I didn't. 
I didn't. Well, I don't. Much, have, where did you drink that? I don't have that. So as you can see here, Karen is acting like either she's lying or she has no idea that she hit another vehicle. Either way, it's bad. Like, I came over here and I drank, but I didn't You didn't drink either. Where did you drink at? I didn't drink. Huh? I didn't drink. Whenever, whenever I came over here, I didn't drink. I didn't. I didn't have control over that. Who was driving? I don't know. Like, whenever I come over here, I put my keys on the table. You don't remember what happened? Did you black no, out or I, what happened? No, I... Where were you guys hanging out at? Here. In your bathing suit? Here, yeah. Let me sit down for a moment. I'm going to talk to them, okay? I'm going to talk to them and see what happened. Because obviously you have a scratch on your nose, they have a scratch on your hip. You were involved in an accident, but that's, that's, that's the story you want to give us, okay? Just sit down for a second and we'll we'll come back and talk to you in a moment, okay? Uh, okay. Just okay. Right here. Um, okay. The mic. Right here with you? Yeah, yeah. right here. Yeah. In the seat. I'm, yeah. Have a seat. I'm, I don't, I don't want to. They're going to have to. They're going to have to sit down. Yeah. Here, the officers are telling Karen that it's time for her to get in the back of that police vehicle, but... Listen to the excuse she comes up with. Um, can you no, do no, something about these? Yeah, we want a minute. I, I have ADHD. We want a minute. Actually, I we want a minute, I promise. No, I, I have ADHD. That's fine. I understand. If you want to lay down, you can lay down. Okay, but I, but I can't with ADHD. You can't sit down with ADHD? No. Well, we're going to, let's try. I can't. Okay, let's try. We're gonna have to figure it out. You're gonna have to figure it out one way or another. I know you can't, but we're gonna have to figure it out, okay? So either I can roll down this window slightly, so you can get some air, and I just need you to sit down and relax for a moment, okay? So we can finish our investigation. If that's the case, then I'm just gonna have to take you directly now. Although Karen finally agreed to go in the back of the police vehicle, look at her hands. What happened to her handcuffs? Why are you in the cab of the unit? Um, She's got in here. She's jumping in the front. She's messing with you guys' computer. I, yeah. I didn't do anything on the computer. Get out, get out. I didn't get out do anything. Get out of the car. I'm going to put you there. I didn't okay, do anything to the computer. Just relax. Get out of the car. Come here. Nice yeah. double lock. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, got it ready. She slipped him. She was, I just looked over and she was inside your, your cab. I need you to sit down, man. So now they've adjusted Karen's handcuffs so she can't get out and they're transporting her to the police department. Once she gets to the police department, a different side of her shows up, as you'll see. Hey, Jacqueline. Let me just step out. Um, so, you're under arrest for suspect DWI, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do a field sobriety test to no. see where you're at? No. No? Okay. All right, well, I need you to listen to me because I'm about to tell you something no, important. Okay. I'm not. You're under arrest for DWI. Okay. Okay. That's cool. And the Mexico Implied Consent Act requires yep. you to submit to a breath That's test cool. to determine the alcohol content mm -hmm. of your blood. Okay. Okay. Yep. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional yep. independent test. Yeah. Not opportunity going to arrange going for a physician. Right. I'm just, just I'm just reading this to you. Okay, that's okay. fine. Just, and that's just fine. Listen. That's fine. He is reading it, and I'm saying what I want. I just need you to listen, Eric. I'm even, saying what I want. You guys quiet. don't have any jurisdiction over that. Chemical you could just test, put me in a pod. The cost of the additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency. I Do really you agree? don't give a Do you agree to the test? Nope. No, I don't. Okay. Well, I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, no, you will lose okay. your New Mexico driver's license. Yeah. Okay. No. Nope. Or non resident no, operating privilege you cannot. for one year. If you are convicted in court driving mm -hmm. under the influence, you may also have a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you now agree to be tested? 
I know my rights. Do you agree to be attested? F you. Disrespectfully. Right, well. I consider your actions and refusal to be tested. Okay. Now that the gravity of the situation is set in, Karen is getting verbally abusive with the cops and really talking back to them. Okay, uh, that is against my rights. No, that's against my rights. No, no. Okay. I'm entitled to a phone call. You do, I know okay. you're entitled. No, I'm entitled to a phone call. Alright, sit down for a moment. And you think that you're like high and mighty? No, I'm not talking with you. Uh yeah, you do. No. I'm entitled you... to a phone call. You are, but not at this moment. Yeah, I am. Entitled okay. to a phone call. If you guys make me wait, I will sh it on your sir. Now I'm gonna put your job in jeopardy. Is the cuff too tight? It's hurting me. I can't loosen it up because you're it's hurting me. I can fit my my finger through here. See? It's hurting okay, me. Okay, but I'm t see. I can fit my finger through there. Okay, so. well, it's hurting me. Well, just don't have it at the ankle because, like I said, this is I can fit my whole finger here, so that's not tight. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, I need to go to sleep. Well, we don't have anywhere for you to lay down. Put your head on the desk if you like. Of course, it comes as absolutely no surprise that Karen was charged with a litany of crimes, including aggravated DWI, driving with a revoked license, failure to immediately report an accident, she had an open container in her motor vehicle, she was resisting arrest, she failed to prove registration and insurance. She followed too closely and that caused the accident and a duty to give information and render aid, whatever that is. She's charged with that as well. Probably the hit and run. Stay over here. Walk over here. Walk over here. I'm not going to tell you again. Okay, over I'm here. Gonna I'm recording. Okay, right record. here. I am right here. Here. Come here. Back on March 19th of 2022, officers were called because of a dispute between a bunch of teenagers and, as you'll soon witness, an adult Karen mom. But right before the police were called for the disputing teenagers, nearby officers heard two gunshots ring out and went chasing after a speeding Mazda. That custody plan has to be put in place and has to be signed by a judge. Okay. Ma'am, I have to go though because I think there's a little bit of emergency going on, okay? Yes, Hello? Okay. So at this point, the officer is pursuing the suspects and he's able to trap them in a dead end, but when he gets out of his vehicle to approach them, they reverse, almost hitting him, and are able to take off again. So the pursuit continues. Yeah, it looks like a silver four-door Civic. Can't get the plate. It's going southbound on motel, coming up to New Country. At this point, the suspects were actually able to evade this officer, but there are four additional officers in pursuit, so they were able to corner the suspect at a home. Hey, one three central. I'm gonna be on Espina and Montana with that vehicle Mazda three. Come over here, walk towards me. The sound of my voice. My name is Chris Baker, Officer Baker. Okay, keep your hands where I can see him at all times, please. Just walk towards me. Thank you very much. Listen, young lady, the vehicle. Right now, what's going on is that vehicle took off from us. Okay, stay in the vehicle. Right. I will wake them up here in a moment. How many more people are in that car? Okay, there should be at least four more in that car. Stay over here, walk over here. Walk over here, I'm not gonna tell you again. Okay, over I'm here, I am recording. Okay, right record. here. I am right here. Here, come here. Or you're gonna get tased, young you're lady. Tase me for what? I'm not doing that. I'm Come gonna, over I'm here. Gonna, I have four people who I don't know. Okay, Come right I'm here. I'm doing Walk over here. I'm not doing 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
to Josiah. Whoever the homeowner was to the house said that the gun was stolen. Female, male? A female said the gun was stolen and I was just saying that has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? I was just there because a disturbance happened and then a windshield was, our window was broken. So I went over there and I was like, what happened? You know what I mean? Because. Meanwhile, one of the officers is trying to take the statement of Karen mom's son, but the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. He's also a Karen, a male Karen, and is giving the police a hard time. You weren't even like that. Hey, what's your name, man? Huh? What's your name? I'm not loud. Well, right now you are. I have nothing to do with this. All right, well, I still need to identify you. He's still here. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what's your last name, dude? I don't want to touch I know you're trying to act tough and stuff, bro, but I'm you get a bird so I can just no, stop just, talking. I'm literally your All right. What's your birthday? I didn't have to give you that. But, uh, yeah, you did. No, I did. You're real brave, bro. Real brave. Next person at the rear passenger side with their hands open and empty. Do it now. Hands open and empty. Walk to the sound of my voice. Walk to the sound of my voice. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Stop, turn around. Walk backwards. Okay, yeah, that's what he's wearing. And I said, yeah, I said, he's wearing my son's pants, too. I said, Drake, take off my son's pants. Take it off. Mm -hmm. So he I just wasn't listening, walk whatever. Mm -hmm. Walked out of my house, and I said, Drake, before you leave my house, I said, you know, I don't want you here. I said, take off, take off the, um, oh, my God, I can look at my ring, because sometimes I'll catch something right here. I'm yeah, going to look to what you. And then, so he kept walking in that little Mazda, pulled mm -hmm. up. Right here, literally right and here. And that was before or after the Be shots? Before, okay. before the shots. We just got him with a gun, not too long ago. Is it Drake, the one with the red no. t-shirt? No, Jeremiah. Yeah. Jeremiah's so, right here. I'm gonna tell you how it Jeremiah. works. Jeremiah. Yes? Okay. Well, we got him with a gun at the Western Inn. When? The same a Jeremiah? couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Are you sure? Yeah. The one that lives here? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the other team of officers was able to get all 87 people out of that tiny Mazda. How do so many people fit in that little car? Rear passengers, oh, hands up in the air. Rear passengers, oh, keep walk, walk to the sound of my voice with their hands open and empty. Over here, keep walking to the sound of my voice. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Stop, turn around, walk backwards. Stop. Next occupant, step out of the door with your hands open and empty. Walk to the sound of my voice. Walk to the sound of my voice. Keep walking, keep walking. Walk to the sound of my voice. Stop. Turn around. Is there anybody else in that car? I kept telling him, take off. Take off my son's pants. Take off my son's pants. Mm. Then those two girls in the car, which was Mia and the driver, they kept talking smack. They rolled down the window this much, and then they were talking smack. And I said, oh, you're going to be talking smack? So that, you know, it pissed me off mm -hmm. because, you know, he's wearing my kids' clothes. Mm -hmm. So I walk to the car, and I'm telling them, get the out of my house. I tell you guys over and over again. Get the, the out of the car while you're... And I'm... So... That's what I need. Yeah. These kids just disrespect. They are, I'm so tired of it. And I even told that boy in the red shirt, my daughter doesn't want you here. Don't come here no more. This is the first time I've told this kid anything. This is the first time I've even been here when this has happened. But it's happened so many times that it's just sickening. One of the officers questioned Drake about the entire situation, and this is what he told them. They gave that license plate. We found out where it was. Here I am. There's a gun in the car. Okay? I'm just telling you out loud. I'm not bullshit, not sugarcoating it. I'm not accusing you of nothing, but I need to know what happened. Do you wish to speak with me? Oh, uh, yeah, so pretty much. We were at the house, and then uh, we were arguing because uh, we had a friend there, right? Okay. And then the, the friend's mom was mad because he was hiding from her in the house. Okay. And my my um, ride gets there, and I get picked up. And then, so another car got there, or this one? Yeah, this one. Okay. So, so I get picked up, and whenever I'm getting picked up, they're all arguing, and then uh, 
well, I was talking transcendental, like calm everybody down, you know. I uh, uh, she had to hit her car window and then broke it. She punched the window and broke it. Right, so she, she called a family member or somebody, and then they came to go try and talk to her. And all of them were just like being crazy, just like all oh, yelling, and she, like I don't know, like being immature. Whenever all she was trying to do okay. is figure out why she broke her window and then she can get money to pay her, like something, you know. Yeah. And then that's whenever, uh, or I, I, uh, in the middle of all that, uh, a uh, 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 charger came and then he just shot. What kind of charger? It was yeah. Black. Uh, black charger. Yeah, do you new. know if it was new or older? It looked new. Yeah. Yeah. So then I tapped on the window like this, and I said, "You don't hear me." I said, "Leave my effing house." And that was the Mazda. That was the Mazda. Okay. Then Drake got in the car, and I was just like, "Whatever." He lets you wear his new pants. He just got. Okay. So that was it. Still kept banging. Okay, because she wouldn't drive off. She wouldn't drive off. So one of the 87 teenagers that was sitting in that Mazda was able to take this video footage of the dispute prior to the Mazda taking off. So once it cleared all the teenagers out of the silver Mazda, the officers found multiple guns and multiple rounds of ammunition. And ultimately, one of the passengers in the vehicle admitted ownership. And I reported stolen or anything, so you know I know my laws, sir. And yeah, so so you're uh, familiar with negligent carry of a firearm? So what can I be charged with that? Negligent carry of a firearm. That's okay, what you so, can be charged with. So this is gonna be negligent carry of a firearm and the extension of my home. Okay, check this out, dude. You're drunk. I'm drunk. Okay, but in the extension, in the extension of your home. Is that your car? No, okay, but it's not. Uh, but is that your car? I know how the law works. Is that your car, though? Yeah, I know how the law but I, I, I. Is that your car? I beat the case before. I had a pistol on me and I beat the case. This is a shotgun. This is a legal weapon that's not stolen. So I've been caught intoxicated off of Xanax bars and So then they drove off. So then we all come in the house and we're talking about the whole situation. Okay, so I want to say like 15 minutes later, mm -hmm. this is how it was on my door. Okay, who's coming back? Go to my door, and I said, who is it? And he said, um, whatever Brianna said his name was. Listen, I'm gonna tell you guys all at once so I don't have to keep repeating myself. My name's Chris Baker, Officer Baker. This car took off from law enforcement, leaving a house where there was shots fired, okay? Just hear me out. I'm not saying anybody did anything wrong, but we don't know, and we're here. They even gave your license plate on this car, okay? We will talk to you all individually. We will give you the chance to say your side of the story. Just give us the chance to get to that point, okay? So I appreciate it for the cooperation, but you all know what's happening now, so there's no surprises. Yes, sir. All right? We'll figure it out. I'm not accusing, I'm not asking questions. Yes. <laughs> While being questioned by police officers, one of the female teens was able to give an accurate description of the events. Who are these people that were in, in the vehicle with you? Oh, they're my friends. We were, okay, so I'm going to tell you just like the beginning of it. Okay. So we were going to go to like a little friend party, whatever. And my boyfriend had called me and told me that he was at his friend's house like, down the street. And he had called me and told me that the mom was going crazy at him just over some clothes that he was borrowing that her son let him use, right? Yeah. And she was upset about it or whatever. And then he's like, he just called me. He's like, I don't want to be involved in like this whole argument. So can you come get me? And I asked my friend if she could take me to go get him. She said, yeah. So we went to go get him. Um, as we got there, the, the mom and like the sister and all of them were like banging on my friend's like uh, car and everything. Okay. And we told him like to get away. Like we're minors. You can't be like hitting our car, you know. And then she would not get away. She broke my friend's wheel uh, windshield, like in the front. In this car, right here? No, it was a different car. Different car? Okay. And then um, uh, 
our homegirl, the one that was driving that car, she had pulled up with us at the, where we were getting ready at my friend's house. And when, as we were leaving, like, they were, like, talking, telling us to get out of the car, that they were going to beat our ass, just because we told my boyfriend to get in the car. Like, this was your boyfriend's mom, right? No, this was my, his friend's mom. His friend's mom, okay. So your boyfriend went at his friend's? Yeah. Mom's house, okay. And then he, he didn't want him there because of the clothes or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. I'm standing right there. He's right here. And so then I, I start coming to him like, why are you here at my house? Whatever. So when I already come to like right here, the Mazda's parked across the street right there. Then the girls get out and they're all standing right there. So after that, my homegirl, the woman who was driving the car, she just like wanted to get money from them to fix our windshield. And, and as, as we were arguing with them, some car, I think it was a black Camaro, I want to say, that was the shots. Those were the ones I shot. And that's when we ran to the car. So then me and this guy are walking like this as I'm talking to him, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, how dare you come to my door? Like, why are you here? And he's like, where's my gun? Where's my gun? And I said, oh, your gun? I said, your gun? I said, it's with the police. I said, you're talking about the AR I found? I said, it's with the police. I said, you want the you want the, uh, the report number? And he was like, yeah, yeah, give me the report number. And so how'd you end up in this vehicle? Uh, that's, she picked us up from my friend's house whenever she met. Who, and who is she? Michaela. Michaela? Yeah. Is, is Michaela the one that lives here? Yeah. And who's your boyfriend? Uh, Jake. Jake? He's not my blood brother, but he's like a really good friend of mine. What's his name? His name is Draco. It's Drake. And so, and they're sitting there like this with the girls like this, going like this to me, telling me, F you, f this. She kept coming up, coming up. And I told her, well, come here. You know, well, come here. You want to be doing all this? Like, come here. And then um, it was just, it got crazy. But I just saw and heard this car, this black car. And I just, like, remember looking at it. And it was a charger. Paul butt through here. And as soon as it passed my house or got to the van or something, you are like, oh, oh. So, like, that's when you heard it. So understandably, my numbers were a little bit off. In that Mazda, there were only four females and two males. And after questioning all of them, only two people were taken into custody. The male, who goes by artist, and the owner of the vehicle, Michaela. It is not a deadly weapon we, unless we can, I've done, we can I've, try that in court. Unless we I can try that. A um, he just finished the paperwork. And then, of course, we're going to make contact with you and your parents and have you guys sign in and follow up and all that, okay? And we'll cut you this here. Do you know who your daughter hangs out with? Do you, know? you know what I don't know? I, the only friend I do know she hangs around with is Zeandra. That's the only one. Zeandra? Zeandra, that's the only one. Um, Did she tell you where she was going tonight? She didn't. I was... I asked her, she was like, I'm going to go hang out with uh, a boy that I met last night. You, you don't know him, but I wouldn't go to a friend's house. And I was like, okay, well, just be careful. Be there, go there and straight home because you have class in the morning. And I told her for your, your driver's ed. And she was like, okay, mom. She was like, uh, I'll talk to you later. And that's it. Hi, Mr. Pena. Are you Mr. Pena? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. So this is what happened. Okay. We got a... Get over here. Sorry. The light. Oh, that's fine. Um, so we got a, a call of a fight or something over there out of Vancho and there were shots fired, okay? So, of course, we responded there, and the people that were involved, or the victims, or whoever was involved, described this vehicle as possibly being involved in the fight. Your daughter is the one that told me that she, uh, you were Mr. Pena, so that's why. Yeah, I, I think she was a driver, I believe, so that's yeah. why. Okay. Her, uh, her mom just uh, bought her that car. Okay, so that, that is her car? Yeah. Okay, uh, getting statements. Do you just see. No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Real quick, yeah, real quick. <laughs> that doesn't belong to you, does it? No. There was a total of about five or six, or six people in here, including your daughter, so five other. Meanwhile, one of the officers tried to reason with Jeremiah, who is the male Karen's son, so there's no reasoning with him. Plus, he's so cool, super cool guy. He's probably had a beer before. He was trying to leave. It's Your okay. Has told you. Told you don't, don't want to argue, man. I this let him use them. No. Okay, and they're mine. How old are you? Don't worry about that. How old are you? Don't worry about that. He's on probation. I don't want to talk to you like that. Ah, that's okay. So I can talk to you about the hell you want. You can. It's your right. Exactly. You can that's say what I'm doing. As long as I ain't doing for your investigation, I ain't good. I ain't see dude with the I do it. 
So why do you stay here? Because I have to stay here. I'm on house arrest. I'm only gonna do it for full flight. I think three months, three months more. I ain't sure. And then you're gonna be out? You're gonna, uh, you're gonna be out? But he was just trying to leave. She runs at him for literally something dumb. Something that I... But well, that's what I'm saying. If you have your own crib, you have your own... You can go deal with all that on your own time. And she won't have to chase any of your homies out of her house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But she still don't have to chase any of your homies out of her house. Exactly. That's why I'm saying. I don't know why she did Have you asked her? Like, if you could get an alt, then you could just bounce and do your own thing. No. She won't do that. Why not? Because I don't know. Ask her. Well, we could talk to her and see if we could get that so that you don't have to be here anymore. So and you could like be that, like that. and be you. Yeah, it's going to be me. So after being taken into custody, Michaela, who was the owner of the vehicle, was turned over to her parents with a citation while Artist was turned over to the jailers where he could continue to miscite the law. Like straight up, like, and y'all got us? How did y'all not get the to shot off the shots? Like, is that not like bad, you know, copy of your ring or what? If you guys pulled over a, a whip, they didn't have really nobody besides the people y'all are looking for, and then the y'all are looking for are still out there on the prowl, right? Mm -hmm. Came to my door. He's the one that came, that to, came to my door. This dude right here, if you guys need to look for a face, there you go. I could show you a couple what, of what females that were here too. What did he do? I just told you he came to my door to confront me of what happened to Drake. He's gonna take you to jail. Are you scared? Why would I be scared, bro? Why would you play with stuff like that? That's how they're supposed to go on. Really not comfortable. Exactly. Really. Like, if they're already not comfortable, you gonna make them more like. If we could arrest any of these guys for oh, they would. what you guys are saying, we would. Mm -hmm. but Trust me, you guys would have found guns. The day, the day that you guys were here and you guys said that they have privacy rights, you guys would have okay. found guns. You guys would have found guns. Either way, we'd still have to get a search warrant. I, I, but I gave permission, though. It doesn't matter. Why? It's my house. But it's my room. I don't care. I don't care. It's not my even privacy. Gonna, I let you stay in that room. No matter what, how much of a smart ass is, that's true. So what's the it's point of house arrest? That's not us, that's JP. I'm proving guilty. Prove you, uh, you're not a judge, right? You're being you're charged. judged. I've been charged, but are you a judge? No. You're proving, you're, you're, well, you're innocent your until proving guilty. You'll get your chance. No, I'm innocent until I'm proving guilty, so I'm, uh, I'm not in. I'm innocent right now, right? Right or wrong. They were here and I was here. And but the girl, like on the rocks? The girl, no, I was on the, on the, on the driveway. On the driveway. Okay. Yes. And the car went that way and then all of a sudden started backing up and it backed up like that and then it came at us. My daughter went that way and, you know, I just like froze. Ultimately, John, I, I mean, artist, was charged with negligence in carrying a deadly weapon, intoxication, and open container inside of a vehicle. And then Michaela, who was the owner of the Mazda and the driver, was charged with resisting and evading an officer. I guess I don't get my job. <laughs> if I tell you again, you're going to jail for obstructing. No, I'm fine, sir. I'm just upset so right now. Please don't arrest me because I'm far from my house. Why is this hard? I'm not messed up. Okay. I'm just scared. I don't want to go to jail if I can't. Can I pay money and get out? Everything that you're about to see took place on November 30th, 2022 in a parking lot where a father was meeting his daughter's mom to drop her off. But there are a couple of problems. One, Karen, the child's mom, is an hour and a half late and she claims she's late because she ran into a mailbox, which is odd by itself. But then the father recognizes that Karen seems to be under the influence and she's trying to drive their daughter back from Pennsylvania to Virginia under the influence. Seeing that Karen is under the influence, the father refused to allow his daughter to leave with her and the police were called and that's where we're at now. I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. This was the drop off location. Okay. She's intoxicated yeah, or she's under marijuana. Is she is not now. going in her car. She yes, can't sir. even function. Look what happened to her car today. Yes okay. sir, hold on one second. Do you second. have a license? Yes. Can Go ahead you and hang let up with them. You're fine. Okay. I need everyone's yeah, licenses. Sure. What's so? What's going on? I'm trying. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to you over here because I'm not. Go get your license. You're That's fine. A while ago. Okay. okay. 
She was supposed to be here about an hour and a half ago. She's running late because here. I guess she hit a mailbox somewhere in Virginia. Okay. She smokes a lot of weed. She does whatever else, pills, I don't think you know, but my daughter's right here. When I saw her state, good. When I saw her state, I'm not letting my daughter go with me. cancer. She has, she has, when she first pulled up, when she first pulled up, I put her, my children's I need your belongings, license. my children's belongings in the back of her car, mm -hmm. and now she's refusing to give her stuff back for school, because I'm taking my child back to Pennsylvania with Who me. does she live with? Me. Okay. And what is it, like a, Here, like a custody, do you have custody paperwork or anything, or just an agreement not between on, you two? It was an agreement, but she never finalized it, so it's not good with the courts. Okay. In, in Pennsylvania. It, okay. it was a mediation. So there's nothing to the court system that says no. who got custody or no. anything? No. Perfect. No. Uh, if you could grab your license for me, I'd appreciate it. I have a lawyer in Houston. I have to operate Okay. Do you have your license? Yep. And I have Are you on any kind of medications? Are you sick? Do you have anything wrong with you? No, not at all. A lot of allergies. Okay, because you're acting a little lethargic, and I'm just kind of curious I'm why upset. that is. You okay, just well. my daughter out of my hands and she started crying. She wants to be with me. Okay, I need your license. I asked you 10 minutes ago. I'm getting it, sir. I'm sorry. Thank you. Do you have any paperwork from the courthouse that says you have custody or anything like that? I have a I don't need, I need something in paper. Nine, three, I'm sorry. Uh, Eric Ross, break for a second. I'm still trying to get over my anxiety. Okay. Yeah, who's in the back seat there? My father. Probably. Yeah, he's driving dependent. And the second one's uh, I'm just full-time Hold on, Hello. baby. So you sure you haven't taken any kind of medications, used any drugs, drank any alcohol, nothing like that? No. Okay, because... Just my yeah, lipressor. Just my heart. Okay, you, do you, what do you take for your heart? I took Klonopin. You took Klonopin? Yeah, I'm prescribed. When did you take that? Yeah, can you grab her jacket? So I guess I don't get my doctor this weekend, <laughs> even though I have the court order right here and I'm pulling it up. <laughs> hey, can you open up the thing so your little girl can get her jacket? I yeah. am right now, sir. Well then, get off your phone and do it. I'm doing it now. I have to shut my car off and I have to get my thing and I'm doing it right now. Yeah, go ahead and get the car so you don't get cold, babe. I know you haven't seen her dad two and a half years. All right, so we just went through a mediation uh, in the penal system with the uh, judge, I think, like a week, week and a half ago. Uh, and we did a mediation plan. But in that case, the girl, because she was supposed to wait for you to it is. About two days later, we were supposed to be on I'll get down to college. One of her. She never she failed to appear. So I can show you on my phone where it says that she failed to appear. Yeah, well, we're going to run the 27th for me. I'm glad they're all here because I'm going to have my semi it now. You guys are going to arrest him. Hey, is this the ball that they put out? Yeah. Well, it is. It's black, but. We're, we're what was it? Yeah, what was the tag number? Huh? We're, that's it. That is. That's yes. it. Yeah, because she, she said that she hit, she, uh, when she pulled up, she said she was running late because she hit mailboxes. Was there some property damage? Well, he had the girl. She was coming to pick her up. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then when she showed up like this, he's like, oh. That's it. Yeah. Hey, why don't you get a, had a step out of the car for me, okay? I'm, I'm trying to calm down for a minute. I need you to send me via email of the paperwork about the court and the custody because this shows I have her right now. Yeah, well, I'm in no shape. Of finding it right you now, we can just do the I same have, thing that he did before. I'm all worked up, and I don't even think. Wait, I might have my inhaler, and I hope I do. Because if I do, I need my 
inhaler. Uh, I don't think is I it have... Miss Graham? Is that your name? Yeah. Go ahead and step out for me. I don't think I'm an inhaler with can I smoke a cigarette? No. Yes. Okay, you need to need to calm down. I am. Go ahead. I mean, that's... Okay, you're going to have to hang up with him. I don't, I'm looking for it on my email. You're going to have to hang up with him. I gotta go. If I tell you again, you're going to jail for obstructing. I'm not going go to ahead, jail. hang up with him. I told you to hang up with him. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It's, I'm sorry. Do you know your car was report, reported as a reckless driver earlier? I never got a ticket or anything or anything. You don't have to get a ticket to be reported as a reckless driver. They said you were all over the road. Means. I was it means not you're all, all over, the, over road. the road. So basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to run you through field sobriety, okay? That's, that's, I'm going to make sure you're okay. I'm fine, sir. I'm just upset. So right what's now in your system right now? That. I have nothing in my system. Marijuana from like a week ago. Okay. That's Any it. medication today? At uh, all? The presser. Prescribed or not? Yeah, from my from my heart. Okay. Do you, do you, I have it tearing what else my do you, aortic belt. What else do you take? Um, that's it. Seroquel at night. Okay. Do you that's take clonopin? Uh, yes, I prescribed it. You want to see it? Yeah. Can I show it to you, please? As needed. I okay. Knew when did you take it? Like um, right right when I got here. Okay. You took clonopin. How long ago I did you take it? I only took one. Okay. And I prescribed it because I knew how my child's father would be. He's undiagnosed PTSD from the military. He was brought like infantry. Okay. So I knew. You know you're not supposed to take this and drive, right? Please don't arrest me because I'm far from my house. Okay. I'm fine. Okay, well, I'm going to test you to see if you're fine, okay? That's you're okay with can that? Can I take my shirt off, though, because I'm sweaty? Okay. You sure that clonopin is the only thing in your system? A little yes, bit sir. of weed earlier today? No, not today. Okay. Last night before I went to bed. Last night. I anything in the vehicle? Father. I need to worry about any guns, knives, drugs, anything like that in the car? Nothing. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Let's let's come over here where it's flat. Okay. No, I do have a guy back, and I do have spinal stenosis. Okay. Do you, That's do you where have my good shoes on? Okay. Do you have any injuries that would prevent you from having good balance? Um. Yeah, my knee. Totally okay. severed ACLS. Okay, so you don't have good balance. Um, I do a little bit. Okay. I'm working well, let's come over here so we, so we have a little bit flatter ground, okay? Okay. okay. I can walk that line. Okay. Well, that's not. We're not doing that yet, okay? I'm gonna mm -hmm. test your eyes first, okay? You have any just problems with your eyes? Just my left is worse than my right. Okay, vision-wise, okay. Are you wearing contacts? Do you use glasses? Anything no. like that? Have you Sometimes had any? Sometimes they get double vision. But okay. That's it. Um, have you had any recent head, head injuries? <coughs> no. No? Any brain tumors? Anything crazy like that? Uh, yeah. Okay. But nothing in your brain? Uh, no. That that's you know of? Skull. That I know of. Okay. Um, um, I'm scared to get it checked. Okay. So nothing wrong with your <laughs> eyes other than you got a little bit of uh, oh, I have in your glasses. Side. Do you want me to put those Can on? Can you see me fine? Yeah, but okay. I see double. Should I get my glasses? Does your glasses help you not see double? Yes. Okay, let's get your glasses. Okay. I guess they should talk to her, so I'm upset. She's okay, okay? No. Hey. Oh, that's because it's not nighttime, that's why I don't right, have my Okay, so you don't need them unless it's nighttime, right? Okay. Okay. Can you see the tip of my finger? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand? Okay, keep your hands out on your side the whole time. You can blink if you have to, okay? I need to follow it to my finger. You ready? Yeah. Keep your head still. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yep. Now I'm shivering. Well, you took your shirt off. Follow my finger. Can you see it? Yes. Follow my finger. You're not following my finger. Okay. Okay. Do the finger thing. No, it's already done. No, I was looking at that car. Well, you're supposed to follow my finger, not the car, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, but it was the purple, that's what... Okay. All right, the next step. You, you said you have problems with your legs. Okay, are you able to do this? Can you stay like that? You got to keep your arms down, though. Are you able to do that? Well, I haven't started to test you. I was just asking if you could. Okay, you look fine. Come here. All right, just stand there for me, okay? Just sit over there. It's okay, spit it over there. Really bad. 
I'm so sorry. What I need you to do is keep your hands down by your side. Put your feet like this, heel to toe. Okay, can you stay in that position for me until I tell you to move, okay? You understand what I'm telling you? Yeah. Hands down by your side the whole time. Okay. okay, heel to toe. Look at your toes, count out loud. Plant that last step, take a series of small steps, come back, same thing, you understand? Okay, so, yeah. Okay, go ahead and begin. I'll do the nine and nine, yep. and then we'll go from there. Yeah, perfect. Then, yeah. Hands on by your side. Oh, by my side? Yeah, no, keep going. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Hold on. Why is this hard? Right there. As straight as, as straight as, it's okay, as straight as you can. Thomas Bowling, I-E on the end. I'm so sorry. Yes, sir. I'm going to do it like this because I did better. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I'll go back. Do you think I'm doing okay so far? Just, I'm just, serious. You're I'm fine. Scared. Just keep going. Just keep going. I am a dad, so I got Okay, well, keep going. You got nine more steps, okay? <laughs> Two, hands down. Hold on. Please. Let me just get my balance. Okay. I'm not f***ed up. I swear to God. Okay. I promise you. Some people I'm just have bad cold. balance. They're good. Keep going. One, two. I don't like this. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. You don't want to do that one? Okay, come over here. We're going to do a last test, okay? Sir, I'm so sorry. I'm not messed up. Okay. I'm just scared. Okay. I've never done this before. All right, Kurt. Go ahead. Turn around and face me real quick. Okay, which oh. one's your good leg? This is my worst leg. Oh, I think this which is Which one can my... you stand on? I've which never one? done good. this. Whichever, whatever leg you feel is better, pick that leg, okay? Which one's better? This one. Okay, what I need you to do, what I need you to do is step on your, whatever leg you like, you're gonna stand on that one foot, raise your other foot, hey, you paying attention? My dad's calling my name. That's fine, you can check on him in a second. What I need you to do. What? I don't know, Dad. Hey, what I need you to do is stand on one foot, Pick the other one off the ground. Point your toe. Look at it. Count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Well, I'm not good with that part because of my back. Okay, so you can't do this test. I pro is it gonna fail me? Because you I either have take it or not. I don't have. You don't have to take it. Yeah, but I I don't want to go to jail either. Like I can show you my MRIs and stuff. I wouldn't okay. lie to you, sir. Okay, so are you able to do this test or not? You just have to tell me if you can or not. I don't want to go to jail if I can't. I need no. Okay. Are you haven't drank? I'm not it, you haven't to go to jail here. You haven't drank any alcohol today. No, I don't drink. But in Virginia, I'm legal. Right. Dad's an expert. Huh? He's smoking weed. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're, it's a, we, did you want to let them get out of here? Yeah. Because I told him we are not supposed to do that until we're in Virginia. What is it? That's my mom's ashes. Please don't open it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, come over here. You're fine. He's not going to open your ashes. Okay, you haven't had any alcohol today or anything? No, I'll do a breathalyzer. Okay, I go ahead. Drink. Sit right there. Not at all, sir. I'm just scared. Are you ready? Come here. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. I'll pass this light color. Okay, I hope so. So, a big... Can you sit back here, please? Oh, this is comfy. Why is it mine? I wish my everyone was comfy. All right, I'm I need sorry to, take to a, bring you out, guys. I, need to take I have a, not hey, hit any of that hey, weed hey, whatsoever. Hey, ready for I need this? To take, Watch this. Are you listening? Zero, zero, zero. Are you ready? I know how to do I it. I need to take a real deep breath, blowing this like you're blowing up a balloon. You ready? Go. Don't touch it. Oh. Keep going. Nope. You ran out of the air. I know, because I have a bad heart. Okay. Should I not hit it as hard? We're going to try one more time. He's good. I'm so sorry. Hey. Holy shit. I just don't like spitting on the ground. All right, you ready? I have not smoked at all since I've been here. Okay. I promise you. I need to take a real deep breath. Try again. Don't touch me. That was a big one. Ready? Go. Keep going, keep going. Is that all I needed? Good. It's zero. Here, take that straw. Told you. Okay. Don't just hold on to it. You can see my eyes. All right, go ahead. Turn around for me. I'm going to jail. Yep. I didn't do anything. Good, turn around. What am I going to do with Daddy? We're going to find someone for him. How, who's the uh, closest family member that can come get him? I have no family here. At all. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Sir, 
I promise you. I have no one. I'm his only caregiver. If I promise you, and you can do it. No, there's no promising nothing. I have not smoked it. You can pass me with the thing. Here's what I'm telling you. Here's what I'm telling you. You going to you going to jail has nothing to do with anything. Who can come get him? I don't know. Okay, so we'll call CPS and they can come. Or, uh, we'll call APS and they can come. Can I try to call one person? Who do you, who do you need to call? It be Kevin Morris. And he's a master sergeant. I have not hit any of that. I didn't even know that was in there from last who's night. Kevin, who's Kevin Morris to you? Um, it's his old caregiver. Okay, have a seat on my card. You said it was comfy. I'm sorry. Where does he live at? Um, he lives in Virginia, but he would come to get him. Where at Virginia? Uh, Fredericksburg. Okay. Can I please We're try to make the call? Just Can have a seat. I have one cigarette, sir? Yeah, have a seat. Please. You're not getting anything until we're done with you. Where does, where in Fredericksburg does he live? I'm being honest with you, I have not lied to you at all. I'm so worried, sir. <laughs> well, I have a, a, a bit, a, I've never been in trouble. What can I do? Can I pay money and get out? I mean, I didn't do anything. We need to talk to him. He's like, what's going on there? I was like, she's being arrested. He's like, you got a search warrant? I'm like, no, it's in the... I can smell it. Tell him it's regarding my child's father. What's that? Tell him regarding my child's father. Can I my coffee, please? I think he spilled it. No, there's two. Hey, Ms. Graham? Yes, sir. Um... You're saying there's nothing in your system? Yes, sir. You might give me a blood draw? That's fine. Okay, you, would you want to do that right now? Yeah. I'm not going to give it to you, obviously. I got to take you to the hospital to do it. But you're willing to do that? I mean, I guess so. No, wait a second. Well, that's kind of where we're, where we're at. Either we go do it now or don't do it. So he was back there like puffing on it and like blowing it. I don't know. So where's the weed at now? So, Hopefully it didn't blow away. Blunt right here. Okay. Right here. We had this one and was smoking it and said it's THC and was blowing. Yeah, the driver's side door right here with a lighter. So, I mean, it reeks like weed. Yeah, I can smell it when she opened the door. Yeah, my dad. Is that for my dad? Is that for my dad? Excuse me. <laughs> Is it for my dad? There's one where she uh, does like a consent. Do you have that one? It's like a consent What's form. This is for the people daddy? that actually do the blood draw, right? <laughs> that should be all the can, can you help me with my mouth, please? See, if I don't get the consent one, then I have to do the search warrant. It's for my dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but with, with the... Blood draw kit. The Is there one on it? Yeah. Perfect. I am scared for my daddy. It's okay. They're gonna check him out. They're gonna take good care of him. Okay. I'm scared for my daddy. Ultimately, Karen was charged with driving under the influence, reckless driving, disorderly conduct, and fleeing the scene of an accident. Which means she actually did hit that mailbox. So this one is actually really bizarre. Karen, who doesn't actually live in the neighborhood, her boyfriend does, is going after a couple because about a month ago, the woman who you see standing there in the red jacket backed into her boyfriend's car and then everything was settled, insurance was taken care of, but Karen is fixated on the accident. So she went and recreated the accident by hitting this woman's car and then taking off. Now the police have been called and this is where we're at. Hello, how are y'all? Could, could be better, could be at work. But What's going on? So, initial incident, woke up, heard yelling in the driveway, came out here. In saw, your driveway? Yeah, in the driveway. The person I described over the phone, 5'5", five five, cream sweater and shorts. She pulled into the driveway with a red Mazda, proceeded to back up to recreate an incident that happened over a month ago. There was an accident over a month ago. Do you know this that, person? Um, no. We moved here, like, about a month and a half ago. This is time. my friend's car. Okay. Um, I was using it to back out so I can go into an interview, and I accidentally hit the car because it's directly behind us. 
So okay. Okay. Parked out in the road. So you were involved in whatever initial accident. Yeah. Well, this other lady's it, talking he about. Doesn't, he doesn't care for it. We've texted. Yeah, I've called my insurance to make sure that he's reassured, and he is insured really? for his car. And we've discussed so, it. Is, yeah, she's not insured. And she's I am insured, though. Is this person involved in this? Then? So this is, is her? Yeah, she's no, involved she's because she's that insured. happened today. Wait, today? What happened today? This. This lady was driving the red car? Yeah, this lady was driving the red Mazda, which happened. I, which I that, that occurred. Ma'am, will you wait and talk to me just a moment? Wait over there. I won't. I won't. But he won't. Were you? He's uninsured, and so is she. Okay. No, I'm not. I am insured. Ryan told me. Ma'am, did you just... I'm not going to argue. Do you understand? I'm here in charge of this now. Okay? So you need to calm down and listen to what I'm telling you. I am. Okay? Were you just in a vehicle? No. Was this lady in a vehicle that just... He has a ring doorbell. You could see her pulling in our driveway. Really? She did back into it or almost backed into it? Almost. I'm not saying that she did. No. She did not hit a vehicle. This this Hyundai... Okay. Is uninsured and okay. she literally told Ryan Lee. Let's walk over here. Walk, no. Walk over here. No. Wait, 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 ma'am. Do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Oh. Do you understand? Put yeah. your hands behind your back. Gotcha. No. Keep your hands behind your back. Literally, what is going on? For what? Scam you, give me traffic. Jeez, put what? your hands behind your back and stay there. What is going on? Don't. When you push a law enforcement officer, that's what happens. Okay. You're 10 15 cents now. You're not doing anything here. Step up. Walk over my car. Literally, don't even the way you put your hands on me like. You are being arrested for battery on a law enforcement officer, ma'am. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, ma'am. You can't put your hands on us. Can you unhook it from the other side? Yeah. No. Listen, I want you to calm down. Yes, you sir. don't do anything silly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is your name? Where do you live at, sir? We Virginia Gulf Breeze. You live in Gulf Breeze? Yeah. Where are you With at my right grandma. now? Where are you at right now? With my boyfriend. Do you have any pockets on your pants? No, sir. Feel free to check. Have a seat right there. You have an ID in your purse? Yeah, it's in the pocket. Okay. The yeah, I come around the corner and I saw Bright. Me in the trash can moving. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, guy. <laughs> um. So who did she? Whose car did she get? Uh, there. Uh, who owns this red car? He's in the house. She just calls that damage this morning. The dent on the right. Yeah. The one near the fence. The, the one on the door handle was already there. That was a yeah. month ago, and that was already resolved. We're going through insurance. Okay. She blew this because. Out of the yeah, you backed out of it, so she started throwing a temper tantrum today and pulled up in your driveway yelling at y'all she's going to recreate an accident, something like that? No, so so I woke up this morning because I heard yelling, uh -huh. and she was pulled in our driveway. So I came out here to see what was going on, and she saw me, started yelling at her boyfriend or whatever, and then pulled out of the driveway, took off down the road, and parked down the road. And then she heard me on the phone with the police and took the car and left the neighborhood. I don't know where the car is now. While she was leaving the driveway, she caused a second dent on the right on the vehicle. Right. Whose vehicle? That vehicle. The, the Is it the guy that came out the door momentarily? Yeah, yeah, that, that belongs to him. Yeah. It belongs so it belongs to him. This vehicle belongs to him. Yeah. And she just did this dent here this morning. And that's what y'all were calling about because... Yeah, I was calling because she's, like, going crazy in her driveway, and she's... Right. What was she saying when she was going crazy in the oh, driveway? Um, she was talking about how the the other dent happened, like, a month ago, and that he's freaking out about it and complaining about it, when that's a lie because we've already resolved the issue, and it's going through insurance. I have text messages. Well. Right. Okay. Well, she came up to me, and she was yelling at them, and I was telling her, listen, I'm here, I'm in charge, you're going to go across the street, and I'll come talk to you in a moment. And I just 
I didn't touch her. I just went, you're going to go across the street. And then that's when she knocked my arm out of the way and hit me with her, her hand. So I'm going to charge her with battery LEO. So do y'all have any idea where the red Mazda is she was driving? So she took off and turned around the corner. I don't know if she left. I know there's only three streets in this neighborhood. And did she walk back? Yeah, yeah she, she walked, walked back. back. So I'm assuming, and it was rather soon after we Okay. All right, give me another moment. I'll be right with y'all, okay? All right. Sorry, guys. Um, I have to ask first, did either one of y'all see her hit my arm out of the way? Yeah. So, no damage to your car. It was like, was she like threatening to hit your car because y'all accidentally hit hers, her boyfriend's? Mm, no, um, she wasn't clear with her intentions. Yeah. She just okay. kind of kept saying bet, bet, and then I saw her tap the trash can and back up and then hit the other car. And then... So her car was pulled in here? Mm. Yeah, it was pulled in here, and then she backed out and turned the other way. All right, well, walk over here with me real quick. I'm going to get you taken care of in case you got to go do something. And all you have to do is tell her that she is not allowed on your property, and then you can walk away, okay? Sure. Listen to what he has to say. Ma'am, you're not allowed on our property anymore. All right. Thank you so very much. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? I'm sorry. Like, can I just fell? Can you what? May I know, like what's going? May you what? I'm sorry. May I know what's like the next step? Oh, I'm going to take you to the Scammy County Jail and charge you for battery on a law enforcement officer. There are laws to protect us. You are not allowed to put your hands on us. And by you striking me and swatting my, my arm, I didn't that... want that you. Yes, ma'am. I got it on, but it's all on video camera, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I know that doesn't count, but I feel like my story deserves to be heard. Yes, ma'am. You'll have your day in court to tell your story. All right. Any other questions for me? All right, thank y'all so much for your time and help, okay? Thank you. So what, what happened with you and my deputy here? I can't do that. You did what? You acted out? Yeah, but he was very rough with me too, and I'm so upset. Did you not listen to him? What was he telling you to do? It was all so quick. All I know, I, I, as soon as he told me to be done, I was done. If you can look, if, if there's yeah, any video, you. you can see how many times he slapped me against that chair. Yeah, yeah. So over. So I think you're going to play it for no problem. I deserve I just want to make sure he's okay. He is. I tell him. Is there anything else you think you need to tell me or talk to me about? I just want to be a part of this situation. I don't think I'm something bad. I got you. Well, we're probably going to close it. We just can't leave the door open, so we're just going to close it up, okay? Oh, yeah. Just... I got to ask her information. Okay. He, he's going to confirm some stuff. Not right now. How tall are you? what we're doing. Um, five, five and a half. How much do you weigh? So, like, maybe 130 pounds. Hair color, brown? Brown. What color eyes? Blue. Do you mind giving me your social? I don't want you, but I know it. You don't have to. I can't. <laughs> Him. Are you employed? Yeah, the same place. Where you, Ryan, work, where you work at? Founders Chowder House. And Virginia Tech, too. What's your title at Flounders? Sir, in my, my title, if you were going to ask about Virginia Tech, is Graduate Research Assistant. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Miss I need to ask you some questions, Please. but before I do, I have to Mirandize you, okay? Please don't. All right. Don't what? Please don't. Don't what? Don't Mirandize? I have to Mirandize you. It's the law. Before I ask you a question in reference to those pills that were in your purse, I have to Mirandize you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand each of the rights I just explained to you? in reference to these pills that I'm fixing to ask you about. Please, because I'm literally prescribed them by my doctor. I know, but I'm fixing that. We're going to talk about I'm that. sorry. Answer I don't my know what's going on. Answer my questions first. Yes, Do yes, you sir. understand the rights I explained to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you previously requested any law enforcement officer to talk to an attorney? Okay. <laughs> With these rights in mind, do you want to talk to me about that? Okay. I'm really so sorry. There's three pills in there. Okay, there's the ones in the Ziploc bag. 
prescription for Yes, sir! Okay, what about the one pill that was in the zipper compartment by itself? It's like a brown gold pill. Is it my... Yep. Yes, I'm prescribed that too. Do you have a prescription for that? Yes, well? sir, and if it's in my zipper, it's just as old. Yes, well, it looks, so, it, it looks old, but the problem is is that you don't have the prescription with you, but you have, you have oh, I, I, and I have to determine if I have to charge you criminally for it, yes, sir. because people are not allowed to possess prescriptions. Right, no, I'm literally prescribed two a day. Okay. And I believe you, okay? <laughs> All right, well, sit tight. We'll be gone in just like, a moment, okay? What's that? I want to be a part of what's going on. Well, you are. I've told you everything that's happening and what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't want to be arrested. Please don't arrest me. I don't know why. You go around or you can come through. Well, either way. <laughs> either way. Whatever you want to do. Uh, may have been easier to go around, but you know, go ahead. You just don't seem like you're too confident with your driving skills. Alright, so I'm not going to charge her with the pills. Alright, we are out in the jail. Do you want me to come put your sit belt on? That's your choice as your backseat passenger. So cool back here. I just want to say goodbye to my love. Well, I can turn the heat up. Can I say goodbye to Ryan? Only if he can hear you through that window. I don't think there's even hope. I know, right? So that that was a no. Please. It's not going to be able to happen. Okay, so do you want your seatbelt on or not? I don't really know. I don't want, I don't want to be... I don't want to do any of this right now. Okay. I'm so like, I'm so, like I don't... <sighs> about something that doesn't have anything to do with you or relatives. Why are you upset? Because all this was unnecessary. It was! No, it was not. No, I'm saying it was unnecessary. Well, you're I am agreeing with you. I'm like, is it even why I'm in it? Because you don't know how to behave. Did anybody see how you pushed me against the trash can twice? Yes, my car camera caught it. My Does that count for anything? That's 100% of the truth, ma'am, the video. Absolutely. That's why I'm like, like, I was so, like, so shocked right now. your wife on your on your profile picture oh no yeah that's my wife for real yeah, I know so do you know how i feel about ryan and do you know that the people that called the police literally hit his car a month ago and he let them go do you know any of that do you know that that's what insurance is for he's not insured and neither are they and it wasn't his choice for this to happen. I have insurance. People that weren't even involved. I understand that, but I'm like, people that are not even involved in this situation are getting the call the shots. And he could have done this. He don't even want to hear from me. You literally knocked the entire trash can over me.
Put it down with the trash can. Are you gonna acknowledge that? Um, that you bit me over the trash can? I don't. I know that you don't want to. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's a trash can. They're not very solid. It's just where you chose to... Polypropylene is very solid. What do you know about polymers? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm literally asking you. What do you know about polypropylene? Oh, obviously nothing. I know. Obviously. Because you obviously thought it wasn't very solid. And scientists have done research for literally decades. How do you throw away a trash can? You don't. But you were so quick to bust me over it. Probably like you do your... Mm-hmm. That was sick, man. <laughs> that men just get to do that type of shit. And women, they just have to take it. Turn me over on a trash can twice. Full video and you still have a good... You see how much of doing this. Pretty much. Uh oh. Some people just don't realize. It's okay. They're allowed to be on the road too. I know. It, I know it's hard, but like they're literally allowed to be here too. <laughs> they are literally so allowed to be here too. They're allowed to merge. It's ridiculous that they get to do that. Can I press charges on you? Sir. Literally not even being responsive? This is incredible. I'm about to press so many charges. Should I? Should, should somebody Mirandize you? Anything that you say or do may be held against you in the court of law, like the video. Do you have a camera on your. Please say you do. Acts like you can't hear me. Acts like you didn't bust me over, like ass down, over the trash can, like sexualizing me. Say you weren't. And that's what it was. What's your name, sir? Oh, so you you don't owe me that information? May I ask for it right now? Why is that? Yeah, what's your name, sir? You should be able to withhold that type of information from somebody. I'm not. You literally are. I'm literally, I'm not. What is your name? Really? It literally doesn't call me. You had to ask me my name. What is your name? You literally gave me over a trash can. Ass down. Say you didn't. You can't say that. Because you did. Do you have a daughter? Would you do that to her? Would you want your off, like your best officer friend, to do ass down over the trash can twice? That was very uncomfortable. He knows better than to say something here. Here, he will even incriminate himself. Careful. Bed light. Yeah, that was a really nice, just like punch on the gas pedal. Do you want to f me up back here, like you did over the trash can? Like I'm, I'm honestly curious. Do you want to hurt me? Do you have ill will towards every public citizen that you have to fight for? Do you have ill will? Public servant has so much ill will towards the society that you literally live in. You see those stickers on that man's car? Is that how you decide who you're going to pull over? Some political? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. You ain't got to tell me twice. Why were you at CVS Pharmacy earlier? So as a result of this ridiculous debacle that could have been avoided, Karen was charged with battery on an officer and resisting arrest without violence. In the end, she pleaded no contest and was sentenced to a diversion program. Are you, are you
refuse to take this? Nah, you don't need to read my rights. Everybody knows like troops for you over you. Would you know that you're not telling me? That's double jeopardy. You're trying to find me guilty. I'm going to sleep 10 times better tonight. Back on January 18th of 2023, the man that you just saw in those clips, Mel Karen, was driving a vehicle down the highway when a police officer pulled him over. The reason why the officer pulled Mel Karen over is because he was traveling at a speed of 109 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone. To make matters worse, there was a young child in the car and Mel Karen was driving under the influence. Let's see how it turned out. So, sir, I'm shot because of your speed. I need to see your license registration. I need your driver's license. I need your driver's license. Okay. And you don't have a license then? This says non-driver. I'm asking you. It's a rental. Do you have the rental agreement? Okay. Just stay here in the vehicle. Did you know how fast you were going by chance? What's that? Yeah, I had you at 109. Speed limit's only 70. Why are you going so fast for? Yeah. Just stay here in the vehicle. I'll be back up here shortly. What's that? I'm fine on the rental stuff. I'll check the books. Just stay in the vehicle. I'll be back up here shortly. Have you been drinking today? Any alcohol? Okay. Can you leave that in here? That's, um, that's when we get you out to check and make sure, because I, when I was up here the first time, I didn't so much smell of alcohol, um, so I'm going to check you if you haven't been drinking, um, then I'm going to give you our initial citations and let her take over driving, okay? Um, if you are drinking and you're over, then we'll deal with that whenever it happens. So, before I get you out, do you have any knives, guns, weapons on you of any type? What is it? It was in a pocket knife? Nothing else on you? Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and have you step out and we're going to go straight to the back of the vehicle. Here. Okay, I'm going to check you for stuff. So go ahead and turn around here. Put your hands right here for me. Where are y'all headed to? Have you follow the tip of my pen with your eyes only without moving your head, alright? You see it okay? Remember, follow up with your eyes only without moving your head. Okay. So how much have you had to drink today? How much have you drank today? I have one beer. One beer? Alright, just lean up here against the front of my car. I refuse. Huh? I refuse. You refuse to take this? Okay. Fair enough. Existing, but you are refusing, so um, I'll read you another card here in a second just to let you know. No, I, I, I deal with my lawyer. Okay. Stop right here. I'm not done yet. Does she have a license? Yes. I've already got his ID. Does she have a license? Yes. Um, there is a can inside the door on his. Let me see if that's out of the It's in the pocket on his door. That's all I want. Oh, Say what? I asked him if you were, there was a can beside your door, in the pocket of your door. Ah, that's a Red Bull. Is it Red Bull? Yeah, it's a So Red it's Bull. not alcohol? No. Okay. That's a Red Bull. All right. As you can, nah, you don't need to read my rights. I got to read them to you, so. It's all good. Uh, and this isn't Miranda rights, this is something else. So this says, I have probable cause to believe that you operate a vehicle while intoxicated. I must not offer you the opportunity to submit to a chemical test. Yes, so will you take a test? No, sir. Okay. So, so we've run some tests on him. He's refusing to do any tests for us. Okay, he's refusing to blow in a PVT, basically, to see if he's been drinking. All right, he's failed his eye test. All right. Well, that's because he's been driving for eight hours now straight. Yeah, uh, the eye test it? isn't something that you can... It, it's, a, it's a naturally action alcohol, okay? Uh, he... Well, I'm just saying, he's refusing the test. We're getting ready to read him for life consent, which means uh, we have probable cause to say he's been drinking and driving. All right? I, 
I mean, don't be mad at me. I'm not the person that's here. I mean, I'm just, I'm just here to help. All right. I'm just trying to explain to you what's going on. Okay. So what's happened is he's got a reason for consent. He agrees to that. He'll go to get a, a what they call a certified test. If he doesn't agree to that, we'll get a warrant for his blood. And we'll take him to the hospital and do it that way. Okay. Um, uh, let me get done with him back there first. And I will. Can you? Uh, is that a can of Red Bull over there in the door? Is that what it is? Okay. 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 That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. I don't I'm need anything else. For countless hours, right? <laughs> 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 <That's all. laughs> I understand. I understand. But when the officer smells alcohol, he's got to investigate. So that's where we're at now. You have a valid license. Is that correct? Okay, well, as long as your license is good, you'll either have to wait on us or how you're going to do it. You'll have to drive to the next town, wait on him to get done with his test or whatever he's going to do with him, okay? And I'll let you know. I'll let you I'll let you know more here in just a minute, okay? Yes, sir. So now I'll read you in Miranda. Can, can, I, can I ask you a question? Yes. Can I have my uh, tennis shoes? I tennis see. shoes? I don't see a problem with that. Um, That's it. Okay. They're okay, right here. Can I, right here. Can I walk you to him? I'll get him here in just a second. So, refusal places you under arrest right now. Understood. So, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Understood. So, this is the Miranda warning. You have the right to remain silent if you understand that as I drive. Can I ask you where I'm going? Uh, it would be Jackson County Jail is where you're going. How long? What's that? How long? Uh, the minimum... I think it's 24 hours on a refusal. I'm not positive on that, but I think so. Uh, and that is that starts when we get to the jail. Um, since, there, since there's a refusal, I have to go through a warrant process. So if I blo do blow, how long? It goes based on how high you test. So if you test just barely over 0.08, it starts at four hours and can go up to 24 hours. Basically until you blow zeros. So a minimum of four it's not this one. You have to take a certified test. So this I just blow. gives me an idea. Okay. I'm not trying to walk off. I'm not trying to walk off. Oh, you're not. You're not. Oh, can you just tell my girl? Yeah, I am. I, I'm about to. Okay. I'll can tell you, her. Can you just tell my girl just to go ahead? I'll let you talk to her. You gotta go anywhere. Okay. I'll let you talk to her. My phone. I'll let you get what you need. It's Thank okay, you. wouldn't it be, to get his phone if he needs it? Yeah. yeah, yeah we, we, we ain't asking, man. We'll let you do what you need. I'm not here to hang me up. I'm just doing my job. So just like blowing up a balloon. So deep breath in, long, steady breath out until I tell you to stop. Okay? I'm just you're, you're well over, okay? Yes, sir. So how long would that be me in there? I, so six, three. If you... When we get to the jail is what they'll go by. So you're probably looking at 10 to 14 hours, give or take. Um, I don't know the exact law on that, so. How far am I from Indianapolis? So, when, when was the last time you took a, a physical drink? How long ago was it? Probably like two hours ago. Okay. I agree, I agree. I agree. That's fine. I don't have nothing on me. Okay. Can I talk to my Just girl? wait just a minute, okay? And I will. Yes. I promise. I told you I would, I will. Okay? Let him get done what he needs to get done. And we'll, we'll walk you up there. You can talk to her, get your stuff, and we'll go from there. Can I walk him up there, talk to her? I can't do that, bud. I can't. Go ahead and come up here with me, okay? I'm going to first, all right? He's, uh, he's going to be taken for a test. Okay? And he's probably going to be uh, placed in custody at this time. All right, he wants to talk to you before we leave and take him, so I'm going to let him do that. I promise him I would. Can you grab his phone and stuff for him in there? His phone and wallet. you need your wallet? Yeah. And it's okay my for her to take possession of this car, is that correct? Can you, can you take my, if my, if my credit card's in my pocket, can you take it out and give it to her? Where is it? And a key. Is this the key to this car? Yes. Okay. This is your, yes. your, your card? This is your time card? Yes. Can I give that to you? Is your girlfriend? Is your Go girlfriend? Ahead. You don't want to keep the wallet? 
I mean, I can. It's not a thing. I mean, I can. Is this your through? girlfriend? Yes. Wife, yes. girlfriend? Yes. All right. So just know I gave her that card, all right? Um, you're about 50 miles from Indy, give or take. And you're gonna, she's going to have possession of this car, is that correct? This is her car. It's her car, okay. All right, well, let's get back out here, bud. All right, I'm going to let her take the car, and we're good to go. Mama. Yeah, they're taking me. All right, I'm going to have you set up here in the front seat. Right here. How old is the child? Mm -hmm. That's... that's I just met him. Okay. That's her nephew. Five, one, one or two. Like one. Five, okay. But that's her nephew. Like I just met him. Like I just met him. Okay. No problem. She just met him. She just met him. Yeah. So who's the child belong to? Uh huh. Who's the child? Okay. But we've been out of we, we, We've been living out of town. Okay. The child is is he yours? What's that? Sister's child? And female, right? How old is she? He? Okay, I'm sorry, I just seen the earring. Okay, okay and who is the what's the name of the mom? What's her name? Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, we're my questions are based on what he told us. We just want to make sure that the child's going to make the Okay? Okay. 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 All right. Do you have any more questions for me right now? Taking that kid up there? No, we we actually we, we brought the kid from Atlanta. Okay. We picked the kid up to bring him back home. Okay. So she knows you coming. Yeah, everybody. Knows. Okay. But she can be okay with the kid by herself. She's probably about to go to the nearest exit and, and wait on you. No. Do what? Probably wait. Okay. All right. Okay, so are you going to continue to cooperate with me on the um, getting a certified test and stuff? Because so far everything we've done has just been preliminary. And you already got you already got a boat test out of me. That just gave me an idea of where you are. You got twenty six point three. That's not a uh, that's not nineteen. Yeah, ten nineteen's the time. So that it's not. I can use it in court, but I can't use it in court. It's a fine line type stuff. So I have to go for a certified test. Um, if you're cooperating, that certified test will be another breath test, but it'll be on a certified machine. It won't be on the little roadside thing. Make sure she shut the door. His door is not shut. Little man door not shut. Yeah, I see it. Come on. This Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Little man door is not shut. Yeah, I see it. His door is not shut all the way. I'm going to shut it for you, okay? Can we get her? I know this is something else, man. Can we get her off the highway? He's going to stay with her until she starts to move on her own. Okay. Um, we're going to she's, head back she's, to... She's probably a little nervous. I'm sure. So how long do you think I'll be down there? Honestly. If you're being honest with us, you should be starting on to go down on your breath rate. So you're probably looking at the 10 to 15 hour range. So should she leave the county right now? You're probably looking at 10 to 15 hours. All right, let me step out. Now, like I said, you have to take the certified test. It's the test set here, too. I will. I will. Okay. I will. I ain't The other thing is, is I have two more sobriety tests to give you. 
Um, now, one will be walking line, and it will be standing on one leg. Okay? I'm done. You're not going to finish the test? You already marked me. You're not finishing the test? You already marked me. I'm writing down notes. <laughs> you marked me. <laughs> yeah, I just say you marked me. You marked me. Right, I got, I got to keep you notes. Me. You got to keep notes. You marked me. Are you stopping? That's up to you. Three. Four. Anybody know the state trooper before you over you? Everybody know that. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Everybody know the state trooper before you over you. What you want? What else you want? <laughs> Everybody know you yeah. want the state trooper before you over you. Oh, yeah. You are. Okay. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, I mean, obviously, you ain't ran into a real Indianapolis person. Okay. You. I see Indianapolis people. I go all the way up to the. Yeah. 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 You. Up. So you run into a state trooper. Okay. All right. So this next test. 2008. 2002. I forgot the Continue. Continue on doing it. What's really about to happen? What you know? What do I know is about so? Would you know that you're not telling me? I mean, I have a pretty good idea that you're going to test over. Yes. Um, which I think you probably have that same idea. Yes. Um, I'm honest. Other than that, that's what else can I hide from you? I mean, if you test over, you go to jail, and then once you're at jail, how you, much am I buying? Uh, that will be up to the the jail. I think it's. Um, I want to say around 750 because you're looking at low uh, level six because you have a prior. That's what you're not telling me. What? A prior. I, you know you've got a prior. <laughs> what do I have? <laughs> I didn't see when your last uh, DUI was, but I'm assuming it's within the last five years or something, wasn't it? 17, 2017, 2018. Is that what it was? So you did see my record? I seen that you had a prior. I haven't looked at your uh, your actual criminal history, the whole thing. I just looked up your driving record. And what's to say? I know I had the DUI prior. So you've had some other like speeding and stuff like that. And is that Indiana? I assume. I didn't look through them that closely. We don't get a very good, we just get a little brief of what happened. I'll let her go down in the courtroom. All right, keep going, keep going a little harder, keep going. What if it don't blow numbers? It won't give me numbers until it prints out. So. What if it don't blow numbers? Then we'll have to go for a blood draw, because then there's something defective with the machine. So. That's double jeopardy. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Because you're making me do one, and now you won't... Double jeopardy is when you've already been found guilty of one thing. you trying to find me guilty of this. Trying so to... now you want to get but blood out. In order to get double jeopardy, you always already have to be charged and found guilty. But you're trying to charge me of a DUI. Doesn't. So if I don't blow numbers out of this... You gonna go as far as reaching? Is I'm gonna stick needle with me? Unfortunately, yeah, that's the way it works. So, that's double jeopardy. It's not double jeopardy. It's only you. You you only get one chance. You only get one shot. So double jeopardy is whenever like you only get one shot. The best way to do double jeopardy is like if someone was found guilty for killing John. Found guilty, and then you double back down and charge him again, and you charge him again for killing John. John, so, correct. So, so you can't get numbers out of here. So not, now we're gonna. Get but you're not found guilty anywhere in here yet. So you're you have trying to, to find me guilty. I'm so therefore, if you evidence. draw blood, collecting evidence. that's double jeopardy. So <laughs> now if I refuse, I don't want you me in my own. But I'm sure it's gonna. You tell you when you tell me just don't blow numbers, you gonna want blue. Unfortunately, it's either that or drive you to another location where one of these machines are and go through all this again. So, 
it'd be a whole lot easier to stop at the hospital and have them do it and it's done. So, so what you don't see double jeopardy in it? Because you're not found guilty on anything yet. You're trying to find guilty. I'm collecting evidence. You're trying I'm collecting to find Collecting evidence, guilty. yes. It's on. You're trying to find me guilty. Okay. Ask your so lawyer. So if this about don't it. blow numbers, you're going to go to the next step and take blood. You're trying to find me guilty. It actually says right. This is a state law right here. It actually says it. If you don't get the correct, if there's something faulty with the machine, we can say on. Can I read that? Don't give out. I don't. I refuse a blood test. I'm not being a. D I'm just making sure I know my rights. You gotta be, you gotta be understandable about your rights. You gotta know what's going on. It's a f***ing grind. Been locked up so many goddamn times. I'm really just ready to get to my bunk and go to sleep. I don't even give a damn. I'm happy. I'm away from grandma. I'm, I'm not with my. Whew. I'm gonna probably sleep good in the mother tonight. I ain't with that girlfriend that was just with you. Man. Oh, it's on my nerves. So why are you out with her? Oh, because I love her to death. <laughs> you know this is all being recorded, right? I'm probably going to sleep. I'm going to sleep ten times better tonight. <laughs> Don't show her this. Get that off the... I'm sorry. You take this to court. This will all be showed in court. Yeah, I mean, I huh? I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay. Okay. What we talking about? How many numbers are below? Fifty-two thousand. Two four zero. Damn, I'm over. A little bit. Well, same numbers you got on your hand. No, two six three is what I had on my hand. So what's that mean for me? <laughs> you get a DUI prior. And the felony charge. Just jump straight to a felony. <laughs> It's the same thing that I explained to you. I, I just know for sure now. So. Now, really, you might as well go and get you a little bed and lay down. Man, they about to look all white people. They about to creep my black They about to up. Stand up here at the counter. Ultimately, Mel Karen was charged with operating a vehicle while intoxicated. Operating a vehicle while intoxicated with a child passenger and operating a vehicle with a blood alcohol content of 0.15% or higher.